Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Seymour uh, EA9 series panel object list entry. And we will take our program from the last time and actually add um, object entry, which is located right here under our object list. So we have numeric entry, increment decrement value, thumb wheel, and slider. Now detailed in information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There will also be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen here, I have my older uh, or my previous uh, programming software that we did and we actually looked at object indicators. So let's add another page to this uh, screen. So add a page and this will be screen number six and we'll call this screen um, object entry. And here we can put a description of what this screen actually will be doing. And we'll hit OK. Now my object entry screen is now displayed. So the first thing we'll do is turn on our common um, our common menu at the bottom of the screen. So here under property list we'll turn this edit mode on. We'll go down to the show background. We'll enable that. And we will select our common screen and it automatically now appears. We'll now turn this edit mode off. And now we have to go back to screen number 10 where we had our common screen and select our screen select. This way it'll actually show on our screen select this um, screen number six. So I'll have to move it from our available screens over to our current screen numbers here. So we'll hit okay. And now we can go back to our object entry screen that we just created and we can start putting information in here. So let's go to numeric entry and you can see here that we have a, a lot of different things to choose from. All of our parts list here. And so what we'll do is we'll take sample number three and we'll drag this up on the screen. And here we will look at and control from the pneumatic entry window um, what we want to do. So our, uh, first of all, our data entry tag will be uh, our numeric entry tag will be this one, MHR 400. We'll hit OK. And our font size, 9 is pretty small. We'll put that up to 36. And we'll leave that as unsigned. Our total number of digits, we're going to put 4. And our prefix to this, we'll actually uh, use our simulator. So we'll use WY0 equals and that'll actually come before the number. And then our suffix will be our units that we're gonna display in. So we'll just put units. So this could be anything um, that our PLC is trying to display. And our keypad, we have system default at EA9, which we'll leave that way. If we're going to use style two, this would mean that our information can be come from other sources like a barcode scanner or a keyboard that's attached to the USB port on our unit. So that looks pretty good right now. Then under control, we can actually set up some handshaking between the uh, PLC and the HMI in order to ensure that our information is being transferred or acknowledgement from the PLC side that the information has changed. So we'll leave that as blank. Under our option, we have our, our um, option visibility here and we can do some scaling and some object focus. And the object focus means that the when the screen is on, it actually has focus for that individual item, which is required when you do things like barcode scanner. Then we have password, which we won't set. So let's go back to the general tab here. And the other thing here is range. We can actually set a range up and we're gonna set that up zero to 
4095 because I know that this WX0 is my analog display and it has a range from 0 to 4095 so I don't want to enter something outside that range. So once I've done that I'll just hit OK and now I can size my uh, display to make it look good. So let's uh, uh, we can make it about like that and that looks pretty good there. So again we'll just hit save first. Next what we'll do is look at the increment decrement value. So again we'll take the default you see up and down arrow key and we'll drag that up onto our screen and we'll leave that uh, frame type as default our language and then we have our up down what we'll do is we will add let's say every time they hit the up the add button will hit five and subtract button will hit five then under our read tag name we can set the read and the write as two different ones and you can notice we set the range here but in this case here we'll we won't set the range we will do that in the plc and let's put it as the same pneumatic entry or numeric entry that we had before okay and same with the right tag It'd be the same numeric entry there we go and that looks pretty good our option is our visibility which we'll leave uh, off for now and then we have our password as we did before so we'll hit OK and now we can uh, put this onto our screen and make that a little larger okay that looks pretty good there hit save and next there's our thumb wheel switch and on our thumb wheel switch this actually mimics the same type of thumb wheel switch that you'll see on a panel and so we'll take sample number three and drag it up on our screen and let's see under the general tab we'll keep every, all the uh, thumb wheel the data the frame type the same and what we'll do is number of wheels we'll keep that four you can notice here that our data type will say inside decimal. Our marking style plus and minus, we can actually change those to up and down keys if we wish. Let's change that back to our standard plus and minus. And then our tag name. We'll actually put in our tag name um, as our thumbwheel. MHR4 out of our database. And MHR401, I should say. And that is from our do more simulator and that looks about right our our text size again make that a little larger like that 36 so that we can actually see this on our screen and we'll hit okay um, again option is under visibility and then we have our passwords if we want to set passwords hit okay and now we can position this the way we want just like uh, that that looks pretty good and again we'll just hit save now under slider now slider will actually um, as I uh, increase the slider on a control panel it'll actually increase and decrease numbers on our PLC so we'll take sample number one We'll drag that onto our screen here and what we'll do is we have a range and the range is 0 to 100 let's leave it as 0 to 100 representing 0 to 100 percent and our tag name will actually be um, MHR 402 which is our mod bus address 4402 so we'll hit OK our text size let's go from uh, 1632 that should be uh, large enough for us and then under our option we have our option or our object visibility which we will not set and then we have our scaling so under the scaling our PLC value goes from 0 to 4095 
and our display value 0 to 100 just as we said uh, previously here which is under the general tab 0 to 100 so under the option tag that 0 to 100 will represent 0 to 4095 we'll hit OK and now we can position our slider right along here we'll just make it the full length there we go and that looks pretty good so that is our program so we'll hit save here and then we can, what we can do is we can actually simulate this so we'll hit simulate we have an EA9 T10CL Hit start. So here's my simulator here, and here is my simulation control. We can change the bezel here, make it look like it, it actually is a T10 CL. We'll hit select our object entry, and you can see here as I hit my uh, WY0 by numeric entry, it comes up with a keypad, and my keypad will put in. One, two, three, four, we'll hit enter, and sure enough, one, two, three, four appears here, and under my MHR 400, it'll appear right here. So that seems to be working fine. And then as we increase, we should go up by five, which it does, and this will decrease by five, which it does. So everything looks good. Under MHR uh, uh, 401, we have our thumb wheel switch, and if we add that, there's 1,221, which is exactly what we see here. And then for our thumb wheel switch, we'll take it to about half, and we get um, 4,000 or 2,047. If we go to the, the very far end, we get 4,095, which is exactly what we scaled it for. So we'll go back around there. So you see, as I move my slider, the corresponding numbers that appear. So let's exit this now. Again, just want to make sure everything's saved. And then what we'll do is we're going to transfer this down to um, my uh, actual HMI device. So what we'll do is we'll take a look. And here is my... Uh, HMI that we have here. This is the T10CL. So this is the actual unit itself. So let's send our project using send. And we'll use our Ethernet and we'll transfer that. Takes a couple of minutes and there we go. We'll hit OK. And now we'll close that transfer. Now we have our um, system here, our HMI now programmed up. And we can now call up our Do More Simulator. And here it is here. So our object list entry, our numeric entry, what we've done is we've transferred MHR 400 into WY0. So anything that happens in that register will be transferred. So let's look up, bring up our simulator. And here it is here. If I'll just move over. So WY0 is located right here. And that will go from 0 to 4095. Let's just go to our screen here and we'll select our screen. We'll go up to object entry. And it looks exactly the way it did on our simulator. If we choose a numeric entry, we'll select the value. Let's put in 2000, hit enter, and 2000 appears, and you'll also notice this 2000 appears right here under WY0 as we expected. Now under the next one, what you'll see is we have our indication up and down. So our increment, increment and decrement value and because we did not put in any um, scale or that uh, value we can or limits to what we can enter what we'll see is that we can um, test it out using bit logic so if it's 
less than zero, we're going to put zero back into MHR 400. And if it is greater than 4095, we're going to put 4095 in. So that, that creates our range in our PLC program. So again, let's test that out. So the first thing we'll do is let's put in um, 4095, enter. You can notice here, as I go back to my numeric and I put in say 5000, it will actually tell me entry too high. Clear that. If I put in something uh, that's out of the range, it's always going to tell me either too high or too low. So let's put in the 4095. Let's clear that. Enter. And then as I increase this, so let's touch this once. Okay, it will not allow me because of this right here in my PLC program. If I decrement that, I go down and I can go back up again, but only up to 4,095. If we change this back to zero and I increment it, we can go five, 10, just as we did before, we told it how many to go up and down. We can go back down again, but we can't go back past zero into the minuses. Okay. So that is the uh, increment decrement on the PLC. Then we have our thumb wheel switch. And our thumb wheel switch will just move MHR 401 into uh, uh, XY1. So let's just do that. And then finally our slider goes from MHR 402 into XY2. So let's take a look at both of those options and there be one and two there. So let's, uh, uh, first of all, there are a thumb wheel switch. We'll add one there, so that's a thousand, two thousand. And then we can go one, you can go nine if you hit the zero. So zero, nine. And then we can hit the plus here. So we can fine tune exactly what we want for our number to be. So that is our, slide, our, our thumb wheel switch. And you notice that we didn't put any limits on there. So we can actually go up to right up to the uh, 9,999 and it doesn't really matter. So then we have our slider and our slider as I increase that you can see that our corresponding PLC address increases all the way up to 4,096 which is the or 95 which is the maximum right down to zero. So very easy to actually uh, uh, utilize this uh, slider switch. And it doesn't give you the super accurate control, but a range. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our two free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.